not only are you motivating people physically to get more healthy, but emotionally. And, uh, I mean, you're giving them, I don't know, what, what type of training have you had? Have you read uh, or researched a lot of inspirational type of, uh, I'm thinking Tony Robbins sort of stuff to yeah, motivate people? Sometimes. Not him specifically, but you know what I mean. Do you have much background in that? or Because yeah. uh, I know that you have done a lot with fitness. Because when yeah. I first came to Branson, I was going to the RecPlex, and yeah. you were there like constantly and stuff. And I'd see you working with people. But that's a little different, working there versus you're motivating people mm -hmm. and giving them a reason and explaining why they should be doing this and a goal. Um, what kind of, I mean, have you had training for that? or? Yeah, you know, my degree was in, in media, actually. And I, I did live broadcast at the ABC affiliate in Springfield, KSBR, uh -huh. for a bit. And then uh, I shot off to Kansas City and was doing a little broadcast for uh, the Royal Sports Television Network, which is basically the company that, part of Time Warner Cable that does all of the Royals games. Yeah. So I'm 19 years old, fresh out of college, because um, I got the opportunity to do this program in high school. And I, I'm i sitting on this truck outside the stadium, and the guys that I work with were all you know 30-plus years my age. You got mm -hmm. like 40, 50s, 60-year-old guys, and they're pathetic, man. They were um, complaining about their wives or their divorce, complaining about their child support. Yeah. And they're, they're viewing the, you as like a punk out I'm here. Just like this, yeah. I'm just like cocky little you know 19-year-old kid that's out – um, got a, you know, weird, good opportunity on my hands and, mm -hmm. uh, shooting my mouth off, you know? Yeah. And yeah, they're already, they're in their forties, man. They're having heart attacks and they're, uh, um, they're on, they're talking about the prescriptions. And I was like, man, I don't want to, if this is what this leads to, I don't want to be like that. I'd rather, uh, rather not do anything. And so right, right. I remember it was a seventh inning stretch of like the Oakland A's Royals game. And, uh, they were like, you know, talking about all the stuff I just mentioned and, yeah. Kind of depressing. Yeah, and like, and then what really broke the camel's back was like, but when you know in the summertime, girls like they wear nothing, which is ridiculous. Like the clothes they wear. Well, what they don't know when they go to a game is that there's really there's cameras with really big lenses. Uh, yeah, and those lenses can can pick up anything, any angle they want. And uh -huh. so like these guys are we're sitting in a truck and they're like, oh, you know, zoom in on that one, zoom in on that one. And I just I remember uh, on my headset saying, I mean, you guys are pathetic. I was yeah. like, I quit. You know, like, what do you mean you quit? I was like, I quit. I was like, I just learned more uh, from my education than I ever learned about my education, thanks mm -hmm. to you guys. You know, I was like, um, I'll stay here for two more weeks and do this. But I was like, I'm out of here. Right. And they're like, yeah, right, kid. What are you going to do? And I was like, I don't know, but I'm going to be healthy. Not do this. I'm not going to do this. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go be healthy and happy. And uh, they're like, yeah, well, that doesn't pay the bills. How are you going to be healthy and happy? And I was like, I'm going to take pathetic guys like you. I mean, we had a decent relationship. Yeah. Like, I'm going to take pathetic guys like you and make them healthy and happy. That's how. Yeah. And so that's what I did. I, I, I left and never turned back. Um, but you've went, done a lot of different things. I've I mean, done corn, yeah. You were telling me that you uh, have been in Colorado. You have a thing in Tennessee going with your uh, fiance. Yeah, McKenna. Uh, yeah. Uh, you have uh, an agency or something in Tennis in uh, Nashville or something. Is that what it was? Yeah, yeah. It's, called, it's called Rock Cabin Management, and it's a, a little company that, that we use to you know, maybe try to set up some of her stuff. And then also book shows for um, uh, her father um, mm -hmm. who's doing – we don't – his name's Bill Medley, and he was. Uh, oh, yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah, he was one of the <laughs> Righteous Brothers, yeah, and right. uh, so he has his main production, which is booked by his agency. But he's given us the opportunity to like book his uh, one man show, which is like an intimate show with just him. Uh -huh. And so I spent a lot of time, a lot of time doing that. But yeah, I've done all. I, I got to do I, when I was twenty one. When I was playing on my first gym, I uh, was doing this magic show. It was uh, uh, uh -huh. Darren Romeo? Oh, yeah, That's what I'm at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, I used to live across the street at uh, Point Real, so I would oh, take yeah. everyone over to see the show and stuff. And yeah, great, great guy. Um, I wish he'd come back, actually. I yeah. was hoping he would. I think he just got set up in, in Pigeon Forge. Pigeon with Forge. The, yeah, and he's mm -hmm. actually going to bring animals in and mm -hmm. um, doing his thing, so I'm happy for him. But anyway, he, uh, him and I had our differences, but only because I was still like punk, punk kid, and, and magic wasn't necessarily my thing. Fitness was my thing and helping uh -huh. people. So I was I was doing that, but he did give me the opportunity to travel around the country, uh, doing that for a while, and that was that was pretty fun. We 